So in this part, we're going to continue facing the edges on the viewport images as we were doing in a previous video. So we're going to continue on all the way to the back and then hopefully fill the edges for the piece on top as well. So just like in the previous video, I'm going to be time lapsing mostly in this specific part. So we're going to start with this area right here. Let's take this edge and extrude it all the way to the back here. Now we can start aligning things and extruding as we go. So after extruding our single vertex, I'm just going to do my best and try and align it over here. As you can see. It's one of the tougher areas, so take your time to do it. Now I extrude all the way downwards and snapped it to that empty down there. Added in an extra vertex and trying to align it in all views. So I added an extra four vertices and tried to align on that cut line on the door, using that as a reference to try and align things better. Now just take your time with this, go step by step and make sure it's aligned in all the views you have in your viewport. So I just spaced them out with the loop tools option and then added an extra one up there, which is an equal space as the rest. So add in two extra vertices down here and then try to align it. I add an extra vertex in there to align in that area. Now we go back up here and extrude all the way to the back and start aligning things in this area as well. We continue extruding upwards step by step and then later we add in extra vertices to try and get the definition more. So right here in the back what I'm going to do is to change a few angles to an image that show the back of the car so we can better work in that area. So for example here I'm going to switch it to an image that shows us the back view of the car a little bit more. So for example, this one, or maybe the one before it. So maybe this, which is already here. So we can go over to 107 and I think that should be good. 108 might not be good because I think it's all the way at the back. If I should show you and we don't need that yet. So I'm going to switch this back to 103 right here. Because this shows us a little more information than the previous one. So let's take it from there. Okay, we're just trying to perfectly align things here. And then we continue our way upwards, extruding up. We're trying to align it in all the views. We add an extra vertex and then try to snap it to that empty down there. Add an extra one and then move it around to fit in the area we want it to be in. Add in an extra one and move it down a bit to try and define this much better. Add an extra one, define it much better. And finally add an extra one to define that corner even better. Now just take your time with this area and try to get things right to look good. After that we add in extra vertices in the middle here. Snap the leftmost vertices to the empty there and then use the loop tools on the right side of the, the vertices and then use it on the left side as well. And I'm just going to try and align them on the line as much as possible and keep them straight. All right, now we go back down here and then try to extrude things here. 
add an extra vertex and uh, slide it up a bit. Add another one up here. Alright, so we keep going, we add in four vertices in here and then try to align it on that cut line we see in there. Make sure it is aligned in all views. Add in two extra vertices down there and then try to align in all of the views as usual. If you take a look at the bottom right image, you can see there's an edge that seems to be in this area. Now that's not the edge we're going to be following. The actual edge we're going to be following is not really visible. So just follow along as I'm doing in my image here. Alright, so this is what we have so far. I'm going to try and then talk over the rest of this area here. So let's take these two vertices here and then we're going to press F to fill in an edge. Now we're going to press Ctrl R and then type in 9 over here to add in 9 vertices between those two vertices. I want to press enter to confirm it. Now I think they should be already well aligned but what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to get out of camera view on the top left viewport here by pressing the numpad 0 and let's get over to the top view and then try and do this in full view here. So in order to get into full view you have to hold down control and then press your spacebar to get into full view like this and this is what we have. So we're going to align it with this up here. I'm going to not align it per se, but to kind of uh, but to kind of follow it somehow in a way. You get what I mean while we do it. So let's get over to the top view, and you can see this is what we have for that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this from here all the way to here. Now that we know what that place looks like, I'm going to press G and then X and then move this out so we have about equal space between this vertex and this vertex and this vertex and then this vertex. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of the vertices here. So I'm just going to press G and then X. Make sure the space is about equal between these two. I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm just going to make sure the space is even throughout from here to there. So I'm going to deselect this, press G and then X, move it there. Just making sure the spaces are equal. Now we have a problem here. This side is not straight and I think it's because of this, this vertex here. So I'm going to press G and then X and move it out just a bit. And that should keep it seamlessly straight for us. Alright, now I'm going to proceed with these ones here. So let me just take all of it. Press G and then X, move it out a bit. Do the same thing here. All the way to the back. Alright, so just like that. And that should be looking good. Now let's get out of the full view and then press numpad 0 to get into the camera view again and this is what we should have. So far so good. And the next thing we're going to do is to create this area right here. So I'm going to take this vertex right here and maybe slide it up just a bit more so that it looks as if this edge kind of meets up with this over here. So I'm going to take that vertex now and then extrude it all the way to about here. First of all let's extrude in the x-axis to about somewhere here like this. Let's get over to this side, press G and then Y to move it to about there, and then G and then Z to move it down to about there. So basically I'm just going to line it with that edge over here. Okay, as usual, just try to align your vertex on the images and then extrude all the way down. Add in an extra vertex, snap it to that empty up here. Add in four extra vertices and then try to align it in all of the views you have in your viewport. Alright, now let's finish the back area here. Now for that area we're really not going to need this image here, so I'm going to switch it to an image that shows us the back of the vehicle. So this one right here should be good.
Now extrude all the way down, snap it to that empty and extrude it further down. Now we move back up to the side of the car and then uh, duplicate that extra vertices we have on the left to the right side and try to align things here as well. You can see I changed the image back to the white one so I can work with this much better. Now keep extruding making your way all the way down. Add an extra vertex, slide it all the way down for support when we add in subdivision surface later. Add in three extra vertices and then try to align things. Fill in that face, add in an extra vertex, align it at the top. Add an extra vertex, align it again at the top. Add an extra vertex again and align it at the side. Add an extra one, align it at the bottom. Add an extra vertex and try to align it in all of the views like that. Okay, so all, all that I'm doing here is adding extra vertices in all the areas that I need and then try to match these edges as much as possible. So we have a nice shape and curves everywhere. Adding two extra vertices on each side here. Okay, so hopefully you guys have the same thing as I do here. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is to try and finish these areas off by doing the final edges on the outer sides of these areas and then here. And then we can call this episode done. So let's get over here. Let me take it from here all the way to here. Right. Let's get to this side. We're going to shift and D and then move it in a Y to about somewhere here like this. And I'm going to make this the active element up here. I'm going to press period on my keyboard and select active element. I'm going to press S and N Z and scale this up to about there. Now all that we have to do is to take it from here. So left click here, hold down control and left click there. And then press S and then Y and move this to about here. All right, very nice. So now all that we have to do is to make sure they are aligned in every view in our viewport right now. So you can see here it's not aligned. So that's what we're going to try and then do right here, right now. Okay, there you go. Let's get out of the camera view and get to the top view and see what this looks like. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem here. So I'm just going to press G and then X to try and then fix this off by hand. Now remember, you can't always be working with the images. Sometimes it will look like it's okay in there when outside it doesn't. So here, we're going to try and fix this. So here you can see it shifts a bit more. Uh, all that we're going to do is to try and move them in specific axes. So we're going to work out of the camera and in the camera to try and get this as accurate as possible. So like that, just going to move this back a bit. Move this also back a bit to about there. Uh, maybe in the X, I don't know, maybe in the Y, move it in the X, like so. Move this in the Y, move it in the X a bit. You can see it kind of follows it a bit much more nicely now than it was before. Let me just move these around a bit, like that. Okay, very nice. Let's get back into camera view. Let's see how we can continue this all the way down. Now let me just slide this back a bit to about here. And I'm going to take this and slide it back also a bit to about there. And I'm going to take these two and make sure the spaces are equal. All right. Now this area, I'm going to select all of these again, shift and D this and move it in the X just until it sits about 
back as close as possible as we think so he's going to press g and then z and move this up deselect this and now uh, let's do this side g and then z move this here deselect that so yeah again just as we were doing just keep trying your best to align things in all the views and just take your time with this process because it can be challenging sometimes so just take your time and then go through all of the extrusions that you need to do all right very nice there we go so pretty much going to do the same thing for this area here as well so i think we can switch this uh, image here back to the front one to help us do this much better all right so we just keep working our way to the front now so you can see I just selected all that section and duplicated it I'm going to use that to try and align that outer area of that edge and again very important make sure they are all aligned in all the views in your viewport Now, another way you could have done this is to just duplicate one vertex and then extrude it bit by bit and work your way all the way to the front. I just extrude all the way to the front and then try to align things here. And then we add in four extra vertices and then try to align things here as well. So you can see I stepped out of the camera view to try and get some things right. Then back into camera view, we added an extra vertex and align it in all of the views and 